Have you ever wondered how wind and rain create the tabletop mesas we see all around the world? Or how the same wind and rain don't seem to flatten other hills and mountains? And why are they always so flat on top? The ancient world once may have been silica-based, unlike the carbon-based world that we know. In this ancient age, silica pillars once grew up out of the ground and reached above the clouds and far into the heavens. The other silica-based life forms, the titans, or the gods, terraformed our realm and cut these ancient giant trees down. These titans became known as the fellers, those who fell the giant trees. The stumps of the titanic silica pillars having been left behind surviving to this day. Monuments to a forgotten past, erased history, and ancient oblivion. The stumps of the silica pillars, like all the rest of the world at that time, petrified and turned into rock. Today we call them mesas, tabletops, and plateaus. The fellers of the rock, or rock fellers were also known as the fallen, the fallen ones, or those who caused to fall. They, along with the silica pillars, were erased from our history as the great libraries of the world were looted and destroyed. But our memories are too strong, and the stories have survived the test of time. They come to us in myths and legends, fairy tales and fiction. Jack and the Beanstalk, Paul Bunyan, the Tower of Babel, and many, many more reveal to us the secrets that we have kept from ourselves. You see, we've left ourselves clues, little hints to a forgotten past, breadcrumbs to help us remember our ancient oblivion. <laughs>